Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living, and thanks for watching my videos, and welcome to my new subscribers, and I'm going to talk about Walgreens a little bit. Um, it's not all that exciting, <laughs> and I'm buying things I really don't need, but um, I wanted to keep some of my register rewards alive, and I gained some points today, um, and I'll show you what I did. But um, on these things right here, I also bought four newspapers. I bought two in this transaction and two in that transaction. And my newspapers that I buy are three dollars a piece at the store. Okay. And I and I used the register rewards that I had from last week and um, made it made two transactions. Um, some of the other register reward deals. Uh, these Gillette Fusion razors. Um, you get a two dollar register reward on certain ones. Um, not free, even with the coupon. Um, let's see, some nice filler, <laughs> nice, nice um, gelatin here too. It makes a good filler. You can just buy one and get it for 34 cents, and not have to buy three if you just need a filler item. And these in-ad coupons do not count as a coupon because you know at Walgreens, you can't have more coupons than you have items in your transaction. But these um, store coupons do not count in that total. Um, the Bumblebee tuna fish isn't bad price. You could use that as a filler or the um, macaroni and cheese up there. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find what I marked in here um, for some register reward deals. Um, I don't know if there's anything fantastic on the points right now. Um, the Chic Hydro Silk, Disposables, $2 register reward, still not free even with the coupon. Not that exciting. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I have these marked, but I haven't studied this as much as the Rite Aid. I don't know where they're all at. I'm thinking there was another one in there I had marked, but, um, no, it's not, I think it may be from the back. I know that Prilosec, there it is, it's the Prilosec. Four dollars on the Prilosec, so if you use that. And then the one that I did was um, the Crest um, toothpaste and toothbrushes, certain ones, um, in the mouth rinse, okay. And then we've got these dollar coupons out of the um, Procter & Gamble, not the one that came today, but these up here. Oh, wait a minute, there's the toothpaste and there's the toothbrush. So the other, the other Procter & Gamble, the regular one. Um, so if you use two of the coupons, see like I bought two toothpaste, but you can buy a toothpaste and a toothbrush in the transaction. They're two for seven minus the two dollars in coupons makes them five dollars and then you get five dollars back. You can say I got two five dollars right there. Okay. Um, so essentially it makes those free and I did pay with some register rewards that I already had and um, and then the Brute and the Sure, um, we've got dollar coupons right here, and when you buy one, you get 5,000 points, and where is that at in the ad? I cannot tell you, but anyway, <laughs> you buy one, they're half price, by the way, um, oh, here they are, half price, minus the dollar coupon in the paper, and um, 50 cent or 50, yeah, well, it's 50 cents back, essentially, with the points. So, um, because of the amount my papers cost and the, um, the register rewards I had, I used a $5 and a $7 in this transaction right there, and there's the coupons. You can see I got a 1,000 points. I got 500 and then 500. Okay, um, the sure deodorants at the store I went to are $1.49, half price. So 49 cents after the dollar coupon, and then I got 50 cents back essentially from points. And the Brute was a dollar 59, which I would have just got the Sure and not the Brute, except I was going to be a penny short if I just bought two of of the Sure. That would make me a, well maybe two pennies short. <laughs> so um, I threw this in because it was a dollar 59, and this was a dollar 49. Okay, <laughs> and. Um, so all four of these items had coupons on them, and if I had just bought those four things alone, I could not have paid with register rewards because they count as a coupon. And so, but I bought two newspapers, and therefore 
I could use two register rewards, the seven dollar and the five dollar. So all told, I had I paid eight cents and um, and seventy one cents in tax, and I got five dollars back and um, a thousand points. And then the other transaction looked the same, except I bought the toothbrushes and I bought a different kind of brood. So um, otherwise, um, that's what I did today, just to get some points and build up some points and get some register reward back. And like I said before, I shop at Walgreens so I can buy my newspapers there with the register rewards. That's my main objective. So I'm not in there hunting out all the deals and, and trying to work it, you know, do everything that I buy at Walgreens. Um, I use Rite Aid for that, and that's why I don't shop at CVS so much either. Um, I don't need to because Rite Aid gives me so much, and and, it's, and I got more Rite Aids than anything else around here, and I can do that better. Um, something I saw in Slick Deals, and I haven't tried this. I didn't know about it until I got home. Um, someone was saying that they bought two of these MedEx bars. This coupon came back at the beginning of April. Um, it's $2 off at any two. They bought two of them and got... Um, 2,000 points back. And two of them, they're buy one, get one half off, and they said it cost them $3.75. So minus this $2 coupon, you'd pay $1.75 and get 2,000 points back. Like I said, I have not confirmed that deal, but if I decide to go back, see, it's a little bit a slight money maker, right? 12 or 25 cents. So I haven't confirmed it. If I decide to go back this week, um, maybe I'll pick some up if I can find them. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.